first session we want to show you the data collection, which is the first step of the systemic planning process. Um, for the data collection there are several reports available, which you find in your SAP menu. So if you click to Human Resources, Personal Management, Personal Coast Planning, you find a list of transactions um, for the planning process and in the folder data collection you find the reports for the data collection employee and org units. In this example we want to show you how the employee data collection works. The data collection is a, nothing more than a report where you have several areas for uh, configuration. The first one is all about limiting the employees selected. So you have the option to select uh, several personal numbers or pick something from your org structure or go for the employment status. So for example that you only evaluate active employees. So here you can limit your data selection. Um, then you define the data source, so you tell what shall be collected. So what you find here are the so-called data collection methods. Every data collection method reflects a, yeah, a field of source data. For example, you have a data collection method for InfoType 10, you have a data collection method for InfoType 14 and for InfoType 15. It's pretty important here, besides selecting those info types or data sources you want to collect, is to tell the system from which time range it should pick up the data. So what we have here is a date range. So you say, uh, regard the data, the master data from 2013, in that example. Um, yeah. So um, we select info type 8, basic pay, keep that in mind. And um, the next thing you need to specify is the so-called data storage that tells the system where to put the data. Um, basically, that tells the system how to write the info type 666 for the employee data. Um, we'll show that later in the results. So you say for which time it should collect the data. So if you remember those, so we have a time range here and we have a time range here that is the so-called um, data collection period and this is a so-called data selection period. So basically it tells you for that so my mouse is gone. For that period of time it should generate coast data, simulated coast data and it should uh, pick the data up from that period of time. So from that period of time you can generate simulated data for that period of time. Another thing you have to select is this so-called subtype that basically allows you to um, generate several data sources for your planning runs. Then you have the option to tell the system it's just a test run and record a log file. You select both of them. Then um, with EHP5 you have some restriction opportunities so you can say certain attendances or absent types um, should be regarded in the data collection. Um, that means, for example, if an employee is on sick leave for a period of time, the system would uh, set the cost for that uh, period to zero. So you have no costs at that period of time. Then you have the option to uh, restrict on wage types. That is basically interesting if you um, want to generate uh, cost items based on uh, payroll results. And then you can exclude certain wage types from that data collection. But for our example, we want to disregard them and only look at that. So I prepared a variant with some um, demo personal numbers and just hit the go button. So the system works for you and shows you the results. So we see so-called cost items in the result. What you have is an object ID, which is nothing more than the personal number. You have the name of the object of the employee, you have the cost items. So for example here we have the basic pay which comes from info type 8 that you can see here in that column where you have the data collection method. And then you have the actual number so you have a period of time for which that um, amount here is valid for this cost item. So you see every one here has some costs generated and for that employee we even have several so there is some movement in the cost data here. So you see only one cost item is created per employee 
um, if you go back to our data selection screen, we also add those two data collection methods here, info type 14 and 15, additional payments and recurring payments, hit the data collection and again, and then we see some more cost items are generated, and we see this is because we have selected more data collection methods here. So you see something comes from info type 15, info type 14, and info type 8, and for those special cost items are generated, so we have different buckets where we put those costs for the period of time. Once we've done that, um, we can have a look at the info type. So if you go to your info type maintenance via transaction PA30 30, and select an employee and go to this info type 666, specify your subtype, we use subtype 1 and look at the cost items. You see that a bunch of cost items was created, which is basically that what came from data collection. So data collection does nothing than aggregation of info types like info type 8 and writes them to this info type 666. And here you can also edit them, for example, alter the costs. Um, if you want to do that for a lot of employees, it's not very handy to do that in the PA30. So SAP delivered a transaction for that, which you also find in the data collection folder. It's called edit data. So if you open the transaction, select the planning context, uh, ignore that, um, you see you can directly maintain cost items. So what you have here is if you, for example, um, select a Select an employee, we take our 1020 again. You see the um, cost items which were generated and you can directly edit them here, which is very, very nice tool because I've shown you. you. Go to edit mode, you have here the costs. And let's, for example, you increase that to 2000 euros, hit recalculate. And then you see that he also recalculates special employer contributions if you reduce them again. And hit recalculate, you see that those employer contributions are already recalculated. You can also use this tool for planning costs on position base, on job basis, if you if you want to do quarter planning, or maintain cost items directly at organizational units.